Hello everyone, welcome back to another Halo 5 video. I've decided to make another video regarding how my progress is going on the spam. That video actually got over a thousand hits, so I figured that I must be doing something right with that. So, I decided to go back and I decided to do a little bit more. I've taken some of the um, ideas into consideration that some of the commenters have said, and I actually tried to put them into it. So, I'm going to show you where I'm at right now. Just so you understand, like where I'm going, uh, where I'm going with this. I'll actually show you a little bit of this afterwards. I'm starting a new map to see how that goes, but we'll start with the span. So let's go on back. I'm actually really happy with how this is turning out right now. So again, I'm still getting used to Forge. I'm not using it as much as I thought I would because I'm playing a whole bunch of different games right now. I was uh, playing an incredible amount of Elite Dangerous lately. And I was doing that up until my computer crashed. I lost everything, so I had to uh, reinstall off of a Windows 8 uh, recovery disk. And I was able to, to get it all set up. And all my data is gone, but on the plus side, I have more memory than I know what to do with now. So I've got uh, that going on for me. And I can just reinstall all that stuff. Thankfully, Elite Dangerous uses a, uh, a, like a save feature. Uh, so doesn't matter what computer you install it on if you sign in it'll remember where you are so if my luck is good I should still be in uh, one of those star systems I was in before the game crashed and if not well um, crap I suppose so I'm gonna spawn right here with the rest of this stuff as per usual actually oh wait I'm spawning here now okay interesting even better all right so this is slightly as some of you guys may remember it, but slightly a little more different. I've decided to go in a bit of a different direction now. So here we are here with the span. It's pretty much all like all the ramps that were there before have been taken out completely and have been replaced uh, with the, the stairs. So this is actually really, really cool. I, I think anyway, hopefully you're watching this. You think it's pretty cool as well. And uh, these barricades, I guess they spawn up. So actually, let's go down here. And uh, check it out. We're gonna go on the ground. So some of this stuff you've already seen before. I decided to change some of the lighting effect, so it looks a lot nicer. So it's pretty much as we saw before. So the bridge itself actually has these cool little beacons that uh, go off every now and again. You can't see it on the other end because it just doesn't render the light all that well. That's one of the things I have to say I'm not overly impressed with. And that shouldn't be there, but whatever. So let's take a, a quick stroll. So, one of the commenters said that I should um, cause some parts of the road to drop out, and it might create like a bit of a way to get up and down, and I decided to run with that a little bit, and I thought that would actually be a pretty cool thing, because this side of the bridge doesn't have any form of elevation to get from one level to the other, so I decided to try it out. So, if you're here, and we'll go check out the bottom level eventually, you have the option to, of course, you go down there, but there's also the option... To cross there because I, I like the traversal aspects of this I think it's actually really cool I'll show you these barricades in a second here so it, it's pretty much close to what it was before so it looks a bit more uh, war ravaged it looks a bit more battle damage but at the same time it also creates ways to break sight lines and try to get around the map so we have multiple ways to do that I did fix this area I decided to put the the um, the railings around there like there should have been for the man cannon so it's a little bit safer i'm contemplating whether or not i even actually want to oh i didn't know that i'm gonna have to change the trajectory now i didn't try that before uh so yeah the man cans are there before so it's a little bit more safe i'm considering not even putting the railings on the stairs because it, it has a little bit of a risk factor involved in that. everywhere you go you have to decide whether or not you really want to go with it i'm going to change the color of the cars too I think. so here we are at the lower level and you can immediately tell that I'm moving some of the stuff around to get ready for uh, things like uh, objective modes. There's a flag there. I'm wondering if I even want to put it there. I'm wondering maybe I want to put it here as well. Uh, but the, the point of the lower level was supposed to be a civilian traffic area, so foot traffic. So I guess people could uh, stay down here, get a drink and all that, look at the beautiful mountain scenery, and sit down. And uh, I'll get to this in a second. So, in my original video, I don't know if I spent a whole lot of time talking about the lower level, but here, it's a lot more cluttered. And what I noticed is that I'm really liking this a whole lot because it breaks sight lines. It's going to force you to move around a little bit. And uh, 
these cards actually create very, very good cover, especially if you're trying to attack someone who's up on top of this here. Or at the same time, uh, you're trying to go underneath. You can use it to, uh, I guess, chain a jump together. So you can jump on top of the car, get a little bit closer, and uh, get over there. So it it's more or less... It's more or less symmetrical because each side happens to have a floating dumpster. Apparently, we gotta fix that. I'm gonna switch to precision, move it down there. Better. Drop that. I don't want to do that. But <laughs> see, the controls are still not 100% good. So these lights were were uh, different as well. I decided to make it a priority that this lower level be very, very well lit because, as I said, it's a civilian air area. People are going to be walking around. They're gonna want this all nice and bright. I might throw, uh, put a few more things on here, maybe a couple like aesthetics things to make it look a, a lot nicer. Uh, but in terms of like urban sort of stuff, I don't think I'm going to see very much more improvements than what we have already over here. So now I'm gonna talk about these. So one of the commenters uh, said that um, they wanted to see interactive objects, kind of like barricades. So we're gonna go upstairs. And check it out and right now these barricades spawn up which means I guess I'm gonna have to move them down so actually that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now and thankfully all these things are grouped as one big object so let's select them it's on precision movement Uh oh I didn't want to do that get there much better grab them again and there okay fine you want to do that what the... I didn't intend to do this this is wrong. This is all very wrong. Okay, now let's try this. Better. 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 So, I'm going to let go of that. I'm actually going to fix this as well because I'm not liking the way this is looking at all. Now this is messing with me too. Hmm. Isn't that just the way? Something goes right, then something goes wrong. Come on, work for me. So that means that when I go downstairs, some of these, yep, there we go. Fantastic. I'm going to have to work with these two now. Ah, oh, isn't this fun? We're going to ungroup that. Um, all those objects, so, uh, though, should still really be in the place where they're supposed to be. The whole damn thing moved. Okay. We can fix this. Hopefully now they've all generally stayed. Nope. I just realized I moved something else. So I'm going to deselect now. This is wonderful. I, I love these unexpected surprises. Especially somehow, somehow, all these objects got grouped together. I don't recall selecting any of them. Here we go again. Yeah, this has to be a bug. I, I don't recall moving any of these objects at all around here. But we'll just select them. We'll just select them. And hopefully, wait a second. Wait a second. I gotta check the scripting. Check to see if there's any sort of scripting at all. No, thankfully not. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> Alright, so let's try that again. Select. Select, select, select. Move all of these up. I'm gonna go over here. Did I select this thing? I did. No surprises. Okay, we're gonna raise now. Okay, I didn't select everything. <sighs> here we go. These are generally where they're supposed to be. Uh, street lights notwithstanding and I have no idea why it doesn't affect that so that's it for that so we actually have some cover and these are actually pretty damn useful at least in my opinion anyway if you're on your team you can raise your defenses and if you're on the other team uh, you can raise yours but conversely you can also control if you somehow are able to get over to the other side you can control your enemy's cover and if you hold that area down there, that could be very, very fortuitous of you to do since, you know, you have a tactical advantage over your enemy and your uh, guys can basically, if they have snipers, which I think I'll actually put on the map because this is a 
fairly long sight line. Either that or I'll give everyone DMRs. Or, or spawn DMRs all over the place because, well, I don't know, maybe a sniper might be a bit too big of an advantage. I only have one weapon on the map, though. And that's downstairs. So I decided to add these safety ledges here because I guess, oh, this is a bench. This is a civilian bench. You don't want to sit there and have somebody, like, fall over to their deaths and all that and, like, write a lawsuit to the bridge company. And that's not where it's supposed to be either. So let's move those. Yeah, this has got to be some sort. Yep, that that is definitely some sort of issue that is not supposed to be there at all. This is a welding... I originally had this set up here. I don't understand why this is the way it is. Those were all in different places beforehand. Like I said, and this is, what the hell is going on? All right, all right, three four three. I've been awfully forgiving with you guys lately, but clean up, clean this up, clean this up. I don't want to deal with the, this like, abject brokenness here. Anyways, here we go downstairs. And I fell off. Okay. So this is pretty much the only weapon on the map right now. And I figure it's a good mix. It's down here we have a stronghold, a capture point, which is going to be good for like those King of the Hill matches. And we have the railgun, which is uh, set for 120 seconds, so two minutes, a spawn time. And that itself would be a pretty good thing to have on this map. And the lag is just absolutely amazing right now. I can't even believe it on my own system. I don't know what's going on. And thankfully, you can clear the rails. So, uh, that's good. There are no rails down here, but there are over here, which I guess gives you some protection. That would be kind of neat if you see, like, uh, some guy come up over here. He pops up, and you just give him, like, a, a, a bit of a, like, a shot to the face. I'm actually curious how much of a hang time we have here. And I, I love the fact that you can actually do experiments. Like, uh, with with yourself here and I would love to go up anytime soon so let's see one two three four so I guess you could potentially get three shots on a guy before you cap him I'm gonna be doing some more work here so uh, eventually there's gonna be a, a lot more stuff on the map there's gonna be oh I actually forgot there's actually a power up on the map though it's not immediately noticeable see that lamp you can climb that lamp you can get there just right and this is something really cool, but really, really risky. You can actually climb up the truss. And at the very top, there's actually a damage boost, which is cleverly disguised as a uh, part of the bridge. And you can jump on down here and rain death on foes. But anybody, anybody that could potentially see that you're up there and they can take you down, especially if they have stuff like the DMR or the railgun. And you can climb up on this end. I've tested them both extensively just to make sure that uh, you can get up there on both sides relatively easily. So I I'm thinking of everyone here. So that's essentially what we got right now. I've got to go here and clean up everything. I am so disappointed that uh, stuff like this has not been taken care of. I don't know why everything is grouped here at all in, in this manner. And I'm not happy. Not happy at all about that. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Anyways, so that's it for this map. But I'm going to show you the beginning of, of uh, Portside. The map itself is uh, fairly straightforward in design. Uh, I was inspired by the old uh, Halo Custom Edition map where you were fighting inside one of the Pillar of Autumn's um, shuttle bays. So I decided to do something a little bit similar, and it's good that I spawned inside here, and all this stuff seems to be in place regardless. So uh, this is essentially what I've got so far as a bit of a starter. Uh, the lighting itself seems to be going just as well as I expected. Let's see if I can bake it and that makes a difference. It probably will because, uh, yeah, there we go. It looks a lot better this way. So, it's a bit of a shuttle bay. I've decided to put up like a shield like this to, to sort of uh, serve as like an aesthetic uh, device as well as serve as a level boundary as well. It looks really cool and I'm probably going to put like a, um, a bit of a, uh, a, a partition to keep people from heading off over in this direction because you're not really intended to be up over here. Uh, so, we'll have to see how it goes. I guess I can put, like, an insta-kill thing here, because I guess space, I suppose. So, 
Uh, it's not 100% the cleanest thing I put together, but it served its purpose well. If you look at it on the outside, it's not quite as pretty, but it serves the purpose generally well. It's a fairly large map as well. Let's see how long it takes to run across from one end to the other here. Okay, so I'm spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen seconds. That's uh, that's pretty big actually. That's large enough for me to put some sort of vehicle in here, like a warthog. Um. I guess this hangar is supposed to be something like a uh, cargo, maybe a cargo hangar or something like that. I'm going to have to see what I can do with that. And I'm probably going to put up like a big control room here to serve as like a focal point and probably like a sniper's nest. Because if you're up here, you get like a pretty big view of the battlefield. That'd be pretty neat. And uh, like a harbor master, they can see any ships coming in. And there's like little balconies here that allows people to lean out in the direction here i have to put light cones on these these ones have light cones but i don't know why the other ones don't then again forge seems to be acting up lately i'm not too sure what's going on and it's a pretty tall map as well so like if i'm up here it's gonna take me like a full three seconds to hit the ground almost which is really cool i haven't had any time uh, doing any other things. I'm probably going to do some sketches of the area and then add things in as I see fit, but probably things like gantries, like upper levels here. I'm probably not going to actually make any sort of like crap and all of that. might be just a little bit too, um, a little bit too much work, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to see like what it looks like in different palettes. Like I've tried it with the big blue palette. It's blinding. I don't like looking at it. Um, the Halo Ring palette looks pretty neat, but actually, you know what? Why not? Let's actually see what it looks like if we change it to the Exosphere. It might be interesting. So, let's see how it looks. I'm expecting more of a paler. Actually, it's not too bad. Kind of what I was expecting, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can deal with this pretty well. How's it look over here? That's, uh, no planets in view, but that's okay. Um... Uh, yeah, no windows here because it's supposed to be like an interior of the spacecraft, so you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of anything except for these force fields. So that's pretty much it. That's what I got right now. Um, it's uh, I I'm rather disappointed to see that those grouping errors have been such a, a, such a hassle. I'm going to have to go through all that, resave it, and then hopefully it all uh, works out in the end. But 343, you really got to get you guys on that because a lot of people's creations are going to be pretty bugged if those uh, grouping errors are are pretty persistent oh another thing i don't expect a whole lot but perhaps a bit more like longer like a bit more visible light like can can you render is it possible to render these cones if possible, just to, to, to look nicer. It just looks a little bit strange when most of my lighting and most of my actual objects tend to fade into the distance. It's just like a, a minor sort of thing. It's probably like a computational thing to, to deal with the system's memory, but something to consider as you go on. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I got some work to do.